Our second patient tonight has also suffered an unfortunate accident in the line of professional duty. Amy, a veterinary nurse, has been attacked by a very cross client. I opened the cage to a cat and it just leapt from my face and then um, I tried to scruff it which it then took hold of my hand and wouldn't let go so I was trying to pull it off and when he'd let go the blood just splurted everywhere and I just went into like shock. And how did she provoke such feline fury? I prepped it for castration which means I had to pluck its testicles so I think it just got me back. <laughs> The nurse examines the aftermath of the moggy molestation. He was holding onto my hand for quite a while. Was he? Yeah. You can move all your fingers. Okay. Just give them a good old clean and give you the course of antibiotics to go home with for a week. Now, all cleaned up, she's ready to return to work. Hartman, I'll say if you can keep all of those open, let the air get to them. Yeah. They should settle down quite nicely. OK, brilliant. But only time will tell whether she has the balls to approach another pussy's privates with a penknife. Of course, cats aren't the only creatures chomping at the bit to chomp at a bit of us. For the team in A&E, pets mean patience. Oh, animal bites are plenty. Guinea pig bites. Any animal, really. Any animal, any animal. Probably three or four a week who've had, uh, had a chunk taken out of a hand or a leg. There was a young lad riding his bicycle who ran over a grass snake. Now, OK, it's not poisonous, but it bit him in the calf. Bizarrely, I did once see a postman who had the bottom bitten out of his trousers. But what makes animals attack? <coughs> Apparently, it's not just hunger, nor sheer malice. The British Medical Journal recently reported there's another factor. <coughs> Turns out, animals are significantly more likely to go for us during a full moon. The study found the number of patients who came into hospital with bites stayed in the same range for most of the month, but doubled when the moon was full. Scientists don't yet know why this would be. But since a full moon also brings rises in crime and traffic accidents, if you want to avoid a trip to A&E, you might be safer staying at home during that time of the month. Just not in the same room as your pets.